This is a class project for EC6258 for fall 2012 at Georgia Tech and it implements a super resolution algorithm defined in the paper example based super resolution. So this algorithm basically digitally increases the resolution of an image by using training data from other similar images. So to use it what you would do is you would select an image by clicking select image and so we'll pick this file named flower super res and then you add other similar images to the training set by using the add training image button and so we'll add these other pictures of flowers uh, flower one flower two and this is what the flowers look like so we have these for basically these images are used to generate some high frequency data and so once you have the training set done you could start the algorithm and then you have these other two parameters alpha and the bucket size for a KD tree I won't explain them here but you can go and look at the paper see whatever they're used and so to generate the training set you just hit generate training set and you can see output in MATLAB and it will tell you the time for how long it takes to generate the training set for each image. It basically takes each image, cuts it up into patches, and obtains the high frequency data for each patch by filtering. And so once you have the generate training set done, what you want to do is the actual super resolution. And you do this by first taking the original input image. And so we want to subsample it first to get like an image to see the difference between what happens when you uh, use the super resolution algorithm and a uh, general uh, interpolation algorithm. So let me just click super resify image. And it'll go through down here and you'll see the percentage it's at when it's building the image. And so you have this subsampled image here which basically is the image scaled down in half and it's going to be the input image for our algorithm. Interpolated shows the results when you use a bicubic interpolation for enlarging it. Super resolution shows the results when you use the algorithm defined in this paper. And you can see it has a bit more detail than the interpolated one. And you can see the difference images between the original high res and the interpolated and super resolution over here. And so you might see some artifacts along the edges, but they're there because of the filtering. And when you filter along the edges, you should actually crop the edges out. And the, the code for this project is also on Google Code. So you can look at it over here. I'll include the link in the description. But yeah, it has uh, all the files in a readme for how to use it.